And the earth is? Flat. Flat. The earth is flat. My reality, my senses tell me that the earth is flat and stationary. And welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And this is something that I did not think that I would actually cover on this channel. So, you know with some people, they, they want to try to argue what's opinion versus what's fact. You know, well that's just your opinion, that's just your opinion. When there are things like, no, man, it's not my opinion. That's just fact. Like, one plus one is two. Two plus two is, f or, yeah, two plus two is four. Two times two is four. We breathe oxygen, right? And the world is round. It's not flat. <laughs> and just through me searching uh, the internet, just one day... I, f I decided, it's like, does anyone really believe that the Earth is flat? And lo and behold, yes, there are people who believe the Earth is flat. And they're called Flat Earthers. And um, I you know, came across this article here, <clears throat> which is actually, you know, dated May 14th, 2019, although this has been going on a few years. And yeah, there are people who actually believe the Earth is flat. Now, the first time that I had brought this up, or you know, I am on my computer is what I mean, is I started thinking, oh, okay, are, are they trying to say like, you know, the, you know, like this square piece of uh, cardboard, here, which is actually um, for you flight sim people that follow my channel. <laughs> I just recently got this. Uh, it's for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2000. <clears throat> it's uh, it's really cool. It adds all these new planes and stuff. <laughs> Which I will be doing on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2000. But uh, besides that, we're kind of getting off topic here. That I was thinking that, okay, they think, you know, just like a, a flat earth map that... Um, you're on the map and you're going to like walk and fall off. But that's not actually what they believe. What they believe is that the earth is shaped like a disc and the North Pole is here in the center and everything spins around like a record. <laughs> you spin me around like a record. Round, round, baby, ride, round. Okay, so my uh, private pilot, uh, CD-ROM here. So it's like this, okay? And the North Pole is here in the center. And as far as explaining how you go from, you know, around the world, it's just like you're spinning around on a disc, you know, like a record or a CD or, you know, what, what have you. And around the edge is actually this huge wall of ice. And that's what Antarctica is. And that's what they believe. Now, the theory is interesting. It's an interesting uh, theory. I don't believe it. <laughs> and I'll explain why I don't believe it. I just, I know for a fact the Earth is round. Have I gone into space and looked? No. I didn't need to. And again, I'll, I'll well, no, I'll, go, I'll get into that uh, right now. Okay, so for one thing, this is Antarctica, okay? It's a continent. And this is this has all this has been mapped out by countries all around the world. And there's not one particular country that owns this entire continent. It is actually split between several different uh countries. 
and they have research stations all over here. What do they research? Who knows? I don't know. Maybe they research that the Earth is flat, but <laughs> I don't. The flat earthers believe that the the thing with the Earth being a globe is all a conspiracy to try to hide the truth from you, and there's all these religious implications. Blah 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 blah. But are you going to tell me that the whole entire world, all the different world governments, are in on this conspiracy? Come on. I mean, that is really, really far-fetched. Because all the different governments do not see things the same way as the United States. And I am pretty darn sure, 100% confident, that, <laughs> that one of these countries is going to say, what? You guys are crazy. That We don't see a wall of ice down here, uh, even if one country does. So, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it, it's it's very, very far-fetched. Um, as far as why I believe uh, that the Earth is round, <laughs> I've been to the Eiffel Tower. This was long, 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 long ago when I was in the military. I had gone to Paris on a vacation. It was actually over New Year's. Let me think. I went in the military in 91. I was stationed in 92. So, and I got out at 94, so it was New Year's Eve, 93, to New Year's Day, 94. And I went to the Eiffel Tower. Uh, I was really disappointed. I was hoping for fireworks, and there were none that year. I wanted to get pictures of fireworks in the Eiffel Tower, because I've seen them before, and I wanted to see it, you know, in person. And there was none! That really irked me. But anyway... Um, one of the things that I wanted to do was go to the top of the Eiffel Tower. And it's always been kind of a, you know, a lifelong goal of mine since childhood. And I walked up to the first level. You know, I look and, yeah, this is kind of cool. Uh, it cost it money to use the elevator, which I didn't really have that. I didn't have that amount of money on me to be able to use that elevator. So I walked up to the second level. <clears throat> well, I did have the money, but I didn't want to use it all. If that make, okay, I just didn't want to use it all. But so, so I went ahead and just walked up to the second level. Now I have this problem with heights. Uh, <laughs> when I got to the second level, this is what I saw. I saw the curvature of the Earth. Okay. What you see in this picture is what I saw. And I about went into a panic because I realized I was really far up. And as much as I wanted to go to the top, oh man, it is... <sighs> It's really hard to explain. I, I was perfectly safe in the Eiffel Tower. Uh, I, I knew that I wasn't going to fall off. I mean, the whole thing is caged. I mean, there's, I mean, it's not like there's a, a fence or something, and you know, you can jump off of it. It's all caged. There is no way that I could po possibly fall off. And, and this, this is the thing. I've got a fear of falling. That dates back to childhood because I was climbing bleachers and I uh, lost my balance and fell on my back and ever since then I've had this fear of heights and falling but um, this fear was so powerful that it it felt like the gravity was just pulling me down to that to that floor of the the second level and it was so hard for me to kind of go over to the edge to look out. Because I was like, hey man, I'm up here. I gotta force myself to go take a look. 
Um, and this is what I saw. I saw the curvature of the Earth. Now, I know flat earthers are trying to say, okay, well, yeah, it's not exactly flat. There's a little bit of a curvature. And, and no, I mean, a little bit of a curvature with as small as we're going to be on that disk, you're not going to see this kind of curve. You're, you're seeing this curve because, you know, this, uh, with it being a sphere, when you're very, you know, when you're on the top there, you're you're gonna see that that curvature. If it's if it's barely a curve, you know, like 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 this. All right, let's say we just kind of curve this a little bit here. Um, yeah, it's gonna appear more flat. And no, this has got a curve to it. And this is what I saw. Um, and this picture doesn't do it justice. I mean. Like I said, I, I was just <laughs> panic when I when I saw it. But um, that's how I mean I knew the Earth was round before then, but just going to the Eiffel Tower and being that high up and seeing that and just going into a panic, uh, yeah, it was just kind of like a, a huge reality moment of man, I am really high up and and all this and. Plus, there's this whole thing with um, solar eclipses and lunar phases. And it's just, if things were flat, it just wouldn't be like that. <clears throat> but anyway, let's, let's get into this whole uh, flat earther and uh, what they believe in. So let me play this uh, video here. So these are the top five flat earth. Oh, oh, it's just got music. We'll just turn that off. So all the images of the earth are fake, along with videos of the ISS and satellites. What motivation, again, what motivation would uh, governments have to, to do this? Um, you know, are they looking to take your money? Not that I've seen. And there are people all around the world that have taken pictures. And you can tell me all these people around the world are part of the conspiracy? Come on. Anyway, let's continue. It's not exactly agreed on why NASA would fake everything. Well, that's because they're not. Uh, but controlling the people is a theory. How? Honestly. <laughs> How would hiding up the fact that the Earth is flat be controlling people? So I'm sh that's just crazy. Um, it's interesting how <laughs> for NASA, I've seen things saying, "Oh, this is a snake's tongue." Come on, it's not a tongue. Trees are just big bushes with true force on Earth. <clears throat> being decimated in some sort of cataclysm. I didn't know about this. This is... Come on! It's not a... There's a difference between a bush and a tree. Alright, what else? What else do they have here? Now, maybe, maybe that looks like a bush. But... No. The trees, man. Flat earthers have been criticized for not being able to explain natural formations like mountains. Okay. Now, in all fairness to flat earthers, uh, they don't believe that, you know, the earth is completely, you know, flat as in planes and stuff. No, I mean, they're, they believe, you know, it's a, it's a pretend I don't have this in the case that you know you still have your land formations and stuff you know it's not a flat disc like this but the earth is shaped like a disc and it's got all the i mean that's what they believe so in their defense but according to this theory they are just old trees that were destroyed then what Old trees that were destroyed then reformed into Mount. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know that either. This is. <laughs> People, 
actually believe this? The outer rim is an unbroken ice wall that one runs around the entire circumference of the Earth. All right, I think I mentioned that. And they're saying the reason for that ice wall is so that way the oceans aren't falling off. Which, okay, there's a problem with that theory, all right? One, in order for something to fall off, uh, a disc, let me try to find something as an example. All right, this is kind of big, but... <laughs> In order for something to fall off this disc, all right, so we go like that, right? <laughs> There's got to be gravity. There's got to be gravity. There's got to be something something underneath this that is going to pull, uh, you know, water or cats or, you know, whatever uh, off the edge there. And if there's gravity to do that, then what about this whole disc itself? Wouldn't it just go wee? <laughs> why would people off the disc fall uh but not the disc itself i mean what are there engines underneath the disc keeping it floating you know who maintains those uh anyway come on all right what else what else is there that's number three What's number four? The ice serves to keep the Earth's oceans from spilling away. Yeah, we mentioned that. And nobody knows what exists on the other side. Well, you know, like I said, I mean, if there's gra you know, if there's gravity out in space, which there isn't, but if there's gravity out there, which is going to cause you to fall off then the disk itself would be falling into the abyss. Flat earthers believe that objects never accelerate downward like Sir Isaac Newton proposed. I tell you what, jump off an airplane and see <laughs> and see what happens. Flat earthers believe that objects, okay. It changed to that, and I thought it was something new. But rather, the Earth is continually accelerating upward, prepared by dark energy. So is this? So they're saying that dark energy is keeping the disk uh, floating in the abyss, I guess. But anything else? Man, that is so far fetched, and people actually believe this. The sun is only 4,800 kilometers away, and it's only 51 kilometers wide. Okay, and so, all right, that, so that's another thing that they believe. I know people are saying, well, how do you explain uh, the sun lighting part of, the, uh, part of the earth and not other parts of the earth? Well, they believe that the sun is, like, I guess, really small and is uh, lighting only... You know, and not really huge like this, but it's like really small. And that when the Earth spins like this disc, it's only lighten, lighting certain parts of it. That that that's that's what they believe. And I guess like the moon, either the moon is small like that, or or I know I've read that they believe it's just things out in the sky that the government has put out there to kind of fool you. There are astronomers all around the world, and if this was all true, they would all be explaining that, and they're not. I mean, come on. Yeah, are there conspiracies out there that are true? I have no doubt. Uh, this is not one of them. Um, and as far as governments trying to cover things up, well, we know that there are some governments that do that. They cover up uh, the truth to th to the people um because they want to control them uh and and some form or fashion through um propaganda right to to make you believe one thing as as far as another but 
Uh, something like this, no. Oh, that's number five. Okay, so there's nothing left of this one here. But anyway, we'll go and just go over this. Uh, okay, now this is a really long article. We're not going to read this whole thing. But I will have a link uh, into the description. And you can check this out if you like. And there's plenty of stuff on the internet. Uh, anyway, every day in the media, we once we see once unthinkable science headlines. More than 700 cases of measles across 22 states in the U.S. Large due to vaccine deniers. I, this kind of looks like deniers. Climate change legislation stated or stalled in the U U.S. Senate. But I can't. I can't speak. Due mainly to partisan politicians who routinely confuse climate, blah, 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 blah. And one of the most incredible developments is the flat earth movement is on the rise. On the rise. So there are like more and more people that are believing this. It is a very small percentage. Which should tell you something. To make matters worse, scientists and others who care about it have not really found an effective way of fighting back against science denial. So here, now here's the word denial. <laughs> That's denial as opposed to this, which is denier. Anyway, in this post-truth era with headlines like why facts don't change our minds. And yeah, this is sad. This is instead of truth, uh, there's a whole lot of stuff that is it's mainly happening on the political left, extreme left. All right. No offense to some of you that are on the left, because I know some of you out there have are well-spoken people. I'm talking about the extreme left. Anyway, they're saying there's this open question on how to convince people who reject evidence, not just in science, but also on a host of other factual matters. So, in other words, uh, those liberals and social justice warriors. In the empirical realm, scientists often choose to respond by presenting their evidence, then get upset and refuse to engage more with their data or when their data isn't accepted or their integrity is uh, questioned. But we really can't afford to do this anymore, nor can we afford to defend science simply by talking about its successes. Uh, climate change skeptics already know about the marvels of chemotherapy. Blah, 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 blah. A better way to respond uh, to is to stop talking about proof. Certainly. Okay, come on. Get, get on to the point here. All right. Well, here's a good picture. Um, so they're saying, you know, the Earth is a disk. Okay, they, they didn't really map this out correctly. Um, but then you've got, I don't know, the bottom here is uh, with hover engines or something keeping it hovering. Who knows? Although this is probably not a good picture as far as the sun because you look at it, it's got the whole earth lighted up. But uh, First, let's deal with the threshold question. Yes, these people were serious. Believing the earth is flat is not something one would come to lightly, for they are routinely persecuted for their views. Uh, everyone I spoke to said that they used to believe in the global Earth, but one day woke up. They got woke. <laughs> and uh, they might go broke, too. We'll kind of get into that. And realized there was a worldwide conspiracy of people who had been lying to them. So, yeah, I get They think the whole world is in on it. Which makes absolutely no sense. Because not every government out there believes in the same things as the United States. Trust your eyes with their mantra. Do your own experiments. Water is level. Space is faked. A government that could lie to you about 9-11 and the moon landing is one that could lie to you about flat earth. As, uh, one thing, you can't trust the news. All right. Now, that is something I definitely believe. You can't trust the news. Be why? Because the news tends to manipulate the facts. Do your own experiments. Water is level. Space is fake. And the, the water doesn't float up in the sky because of gravity. And for those that are saying gravity doesn't exist, 
okay, um, go to a carnival, <laughs> and I went to, I went on this one ride, which made me go into a panic again. It spun very, very quickly, and I, you're in this chair on the very edge of it, and when that thing was spinning, I was on the edge. I was basically thrown, you know, okay, not thrown back, but I could feel myself on the back of that wall, okay? That, that, um, that ride was creating its own sense of gravity because it was spinning. And there are other types of uh, things out there that, that will do that. And plus, there, um, there's been a proof in regards to weightlessness. <sighs> anyway, most flat earthers describe their conversion as a quasi-religious experience. Again, once again, that should be a key right there. When you say a quasi-religious experience, right there says cult and when you get into cults you get into trouble anyway where one day they took the red pill and yes they adore the movie the matrix and i do too and realized the truth that the rest of us have been blind have been blind to for our entire <laughs> they have been blind as a result our miseducation and indoctrination the earth is flat So what? I think there's like somewhere between two and three hundred of these flat earthers. And there are billions, billions and billions of people on the earth. And you're going to say that only two to three hundred know the truth. And all the billions and billions of people around the earth are being are are being fooled. Come on. I mean, that is. Oh, wow, that is so far-fetched. Usually when there's a really small group that believe in something, that small group is a cult. And they're being tricked. Uh, to state this immediately raises a series of questions. What do they actually believe? The Earth is a disk. Mountains of Antarctica spread out around, along the perimeter. And there's a dome over the top. This is not an artificial world. <laughs> maybe someday, uh, maybe we'll make an artificial world and it'll be flat. It'll be like the Discworld series, which I've not read. I've not read uh, that, although I'm interested. I've heard it's, it's really good. Who could keep such a secret? The government, NASA, airline pilots, and others. All airline pilots? Every single one of them. Come on. There's more pilots out there than just airline. There are private pilots. <laughs> private pilots, okay, that don't work for airlines. And and they fly up there and you're going to tell me that every single one of them? No. Come on. And others. Well, what others? Like regular people like myself who've been to the Eiffel Tower and I've seen the Earth curve? So I guess you're suggesting that I'm part of the conspiracy? What? What do I get out of it? I don't. I certainly don't get anything off of this video. <laughs> I don't make money off of these videos. I do these videos uh, just for fun. Uh, who put them up to it? The adversary, one man told me. The devil rewards them mightily for covering up, God, covering up God's truth. Have you ever thought for the moment that maybe it's the other way around, that the adversary is actually tricking the flat earthers um, through misinformation to misguide them uh, to something that's a lot worse? Anyway, why don't others realize the truth? Because they've been fooled. 
everything they're saying here is exactly what they're victim of. The flat earthers, I mean. What is the benefit of believing in flat earth? Because it's the truth. And for many, it is the only physical account that is consistent with the Bible. How do you see that? Because I don't remember anywhere in the Bible that talked about the world being flat. What about all the scientific proofs? And I've read the Old Testament and the New Testament. What about all the scientific proofs of a round earth? They're all flawed, which is what the conference is about. To spend two days attending seminars with titles such as Globe Busters. Come on. <laughs> flat Earth with the scientific method, Flat Earth activism, uh, NASA and other space lies, 14 plus ways the Bible say Flat Earth. And talking to your family and friends about Flat Earth felt in some ways like spending two days on another planet. Right. It's a disc-shaped planet. <laughs> so maybe you were on another planet. The arguments were absurd but intricate and not easily run to the ground. Uh, especially if one buys into the Flat Earther's insistence on person first-person proof and the social reinforcement that participants seemed to feel. And finally, being among their own was palpable. And there's some about psychologists. And then this guy is saying for the first mouth, kept his mouth shut and listened and blah, blah, blah. Like I said, this is really, really long. Uh, this is that ice wall that they're talking about there. So the very things that the flat earthers are, are doing, the things that they're saying, is the very same stuff that they're a victim of. And I don't want to say that these people are stupid um that's just mean just there are some people that are easily very easily influenced it's not until they've been taken advantage of enough times to where they finally realize that um they're just things on this the world is not a very nice place um and the people that run these flat earth things are, are those people. They're not very nice. They're taking advantage of you. And like I said, I'm going to kind of get into a little bit of that. But yeah, you can check this out. And, you know, maybe these pictures here if you want, <laughs> which have nothing to do with flat earth. Um, this is another thing that I was going to talk about, that the flat earthers, there's going to be a cruise a cruise ship uh, that's going to take people to the the edge of the flat world and this is what I am um, this is what I'm gonna get into so this journey they say is gonna take place in 2020 which is one year from now okay so this here is the flat earth conference okay this is their actual site it's flatearthconference.com and here's an example tickets and live stream info get your tickets that should be a wake-up call right there because click on this and look how much they're charging for this stuff okay so there's some cheap stuff down here but look at this $250, $400, they are charging you money to go listen to them they are taking advantage of you and if you've if you've got hundreds of people Maybe not hundreds. Um, all these people. Let's just take, for example, uh, 20 people. Okay. Let's say they managed to get 20 people to show up. Let's see. We'll say. Uh, let's do that VIP thing. Let's say two. Let's say 20 people decide to to do that. Well, 20 times 400 is $8,000. That's $8,000. And if they manage to get 100 people, 
400 times 100 is $40,000. I mean, they are making money off of you. Whereas to believe that the earth is round doesn't really cost you anything at all. You know, it's... There are free science exhibits that you can go to. Which, free, it doesn't cost you anything. Yet this uh, small little cult is preying on people's um, good nature or, or, or whatever and taking advantage of them. And this so-called cruise, well, there's no uh, prices or anything out there, but you know that this supposed cruise is going to cost way more than this. And those that are so easily influenced by this are going to be they're going to be taken advantage of. They're going to be out this money. And that cruise will never happen. That cruise will never happen. You'll have tons of people who will pay this money thinking, oh, wow, I'm going to go on a cruise to go see this ice wall. But that cruise will never happen. These people will, they will take your money and they will give you excuses. Oh, we haven't been able to secure a ship yet. Oh, the weather is just bad. Um, or we're... We're still working out the actual path to get to the edge of the disc. Whatever. They're going to come up with whatever excuse they can. And then eventually they're going to go, they're going to disappear. And so is your money. I guarantee you this cruise is not going to happen. Um, or the cruise will happen. And for some reason, everyone who's paid for this won't be on it. And they will take pictures of the supposed ice wall when in fact this ice wall is not the ice wall that surrounds that that disc so for those of you that believe in the earth being flat you're being taken advantage of i mean right here I mean, right here right here they're charging people Come on. It's right here. Um, there's something in here in regards to um, the Flat Earth Society. There's a, a wiki page here uh, that has a whole bunch of uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, As a passenger on an aircraft, how is that I can see the curvature of the Earth? Quite simply, you cannot. It is widely stated that you would need to be at a height of at least 40,000 feet. I guarantee you I wasn't 40,000 feet up on the Eiffel Tower when I saw the curvature of the Earth there. Uh, to get, That's a long way to walk up. Uh, to get even a hint of curvature if Earth were round. No. No. Like I said, I walked up to the second level of the Eiffel Tower. I just, I couldn't. I was so scared I could not go to the top. As much as I wanted to go to the top, which you can only get up there by elevator, the second level was enough for me. And I saw the curvature of the earth. And I did not walk up 40,000 feet. Commercial aircraft are not allowed to fly this high. Well, it isn't that convenient. <laughs> they are only allowed to fly just under this altitude. 36,000 feet might be typical. In addition, the windows on commercial aircraft are small and heavily curved. I mean, this is what we call manipulating the truth. It would still, they're saying, even if they flew high enough, you would still not be visible to passengers. There are no windows on the Eiffel Tower. Okay, it's it's a metal cage that, that surrounds... Uh, that second level and definitely the top level too. Um, there's nothing there to fool your eyes. I, you can see the curvature of the earth. I saw it. I know exactly what I saw. Uh, if the planets are round, why isn't the earth? So according to this, the earth is not a planet by definition. So <laughs> I guess the earth is a special snowflake. <laughs> Everything else is round in a sphere, but the Earth is not. Oh, my 
goodness. It's... I don't even I don't know why I'm double clicking stuff now. But anyway, look. I have been taken advantage of and used throughout my life enough times to where I have a hard time trusting anybody. And for the people that believe in the whole flat earth, you're being taken advantage of. You're, you're being used. Again, they're... They're taking advantage of you. Wanting to get your money. Because they know a sucker is born every minute. And there are all kinds of these uh, scams. That's what this is, is a scam. Believing... Uh, to try to take advantage of people's good nature. That is, this is a scam. There's tons of scams out there and people fall victim to it all the time. This is just another scam. And for those of you who are going to try to go on that cruise, that cruise is never going to happen and you're going to be out that money. So... Anyway, this kind of makes me sad. This makes me sad that there are good people out there that are being taken advantage of by this. And it kind of makes me a little mad, too. But, like I said, there are scams all over the earth. It's sickening. Um, you know, you want to believe that these people who are behind all this this garbage, that they all burn in hell or something... Uh, for being that cruel. But unfortunately, that is the wonderful world that we live in. There are scams and controversies and people taking advantage of everyone. You know, I don't know how many of you out there watch Star Trek, but I swear this whole planet is made of Ferengis. Ferengis that will trick you and take advantage of you and somewhere have a book of uh, rules of acquisition. <laughs> Of how to take advantage of people to make a profit. <laughs> the people behind this flat earth thing are a bunch of Ferengis looking to make a profit off of you. So, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. If you are a person that believes in the flat earth, don't be afraid to comment uh, on this video. You're more than welcome to comment on this video. I personally am not going to attack you. As far as other people that are make comments, I, I can't guarantee what other people are, are going to say or are going to do. Um, all I'm going to say for those of you who do believe in the flat earth is please, please, please get away from this. Run away from it as fast as you possibly can because they're taking advantage of you all right i know you guys are good people don't let them do this to you all right anyway that's all i got to say about this um i appreciate you uh watching this video it was my goodness i've been talking about this for about 48 minutes i didn't didn't think this was going to be this long but I just, I kind of just talk uh, down the earth. I was going to say down the earth. <laughs> no pun intended, you know, uh, as far as earth, flat, round, whatever. Um, and I do tend to ramble sometimes. This is not scripted. Obviously, it's not scripted. You just listen to the way I'm talking. It's not scripted. Uh, I just, I, I just kind of talk to you, you know, just as if you were just kind of standing there and we're just kind of talking, have a conversation. That's it's what I do on these videos. I come across things that I find interesting or uh, unbelievable, <laughs> as in this case here, and I just do a video on it. I don't make money off of these videos. Um, I don't have enough subscribers to be able to do that um, or enough views for that matter, and that doesn't matter to me. 
Um, I just, I, I like doing videos. I like putting things together. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff on here that is not even like this. I do a lot of flight simulator stuff. I've got some Minecraft stuff. I've got, I got different types of viewers that come to this channel for different reasons. Um, but with that in mind, um, I do have other episodes of this Shep Ramble series on a variety of different topics. Um, so check those out. You know, I, we just we just try to have fun on on this channel and, and keep everything clean and family friendly because you know when you go out to some of these other channels you never know what you're going to get um but anyway if you're new here consider subscribing it's not going to cost you anything it's definitely not going to cost you 250 400 or anything no it's free <laughs> it is free to subscribe to this channel and um you get my undying gratitude and thanks uh, for that. Uh, but it also lets you know that uh, when the new video goes up on this channel. But uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. And be careful out there. And I'll see you on another rambling video.